Hi, I'm Rod Fogg and welcome to a 10 minute review of The Woman Tone. Everything you need to know in 10 minutes or less. It comes in a good box. You get a sort of a, a playing card or tarot card of a semi-naked woman. I guess she's uh, experiencing the woman tone and is therefore in ecstasy. It comes in a bag. It's a nice looking pedal. It has artwork by uh, Marika Koga, who is one of the Fool Collective that painted Eric Clapton's SG guitar, uh, which then became called The Fool. So there's a nice connection there. Uh, Aklan pedals has an unusual design. They've got these kind of hollow bits at either end. This is for their own pedal fixing system that they do on their boards. Um, but in the box, you've got a rubber pad and a Velcro pad, so you can fix it to any other kind of board. Um, let's get started. Gain here and volume here. At the moment, gain is on five. This switches the pedal on and off. So here's the gain on five. You've got uh, a lot of gain on tap, even on zero. Here's the clean sound. Clean sound for comparison. I'm going to leave that on five. And then you have this switch, which brings in the woman tone. Woman tone is controlled here uh, by this middle knob. The volume, by the way, I've only got it on two, and that gives me more or less the same volume uh, when the pedal's engaged as when it's switched off, as the clean sound. It has a lot of gain. There's a lot of gain in this pedal. going up and up and up and up so if you you're looking for a pedal which will drive the front end of your amp hard uh, this one has got a lot of gain so going from clean sound here's my clean sound and here is the pedal switched on that's with that's with gain on five and then woman tone um, very smooth, uh, slight roll off of the top end, very rich, um, low frequency distortion. The woman tone control goes from zero. rolls off some of the top end. So, Woman Tone is Eric Clapton's name for the sound that he used in the 1960s when he was playing with Cream, uh, and it involves turning up a Marshall Super Lead to maximum, pretty much, and then rolling back the tone control on your guitar, producing a very fluid, warm sounding uh, soloing sound. <laughs>
sound wise it's in the ballpark i think um, i am working with the pedal in that i'm using the neck pickup on my strap the whole time however you know clapton would have used a humbucker equipped guitar like a, an sg or a 335 and they do say the pedal has a kind of a circuit in there to try and emulate a humbucker that seems to work you've basically got a, a two sound pedal uh, switch it on and you've got a marshall in a box switch over to woman tone and a, you lose a bit of high end a bit of a boost in the mid-range and there is a bit of a general boost which allows you to cut through a bit more so that's useful one thing you should watch out for is that you do need to use a good quality power supply um, i used just a sort of wall warp type power supply to start with and it i got a kind of high-pitched whistle it was not prominent but, but you'd prefer not to have that so budget for a good power supply there's one thing that um doesn't come over on youtube and that is that it's a very interactive pedal it's touch sensitive it, it's nice to play through it seems to respond to uh to what i'm doing on the guitar so um all in all it's a thumbs up from me um is it going on the board well maybe it's a bit specialized and i'm sure there'll be times when it's just perfect uh it might go on the board for a bit and we'll see how much it gets used there you go woman tone